Moving to Providence and curious about Federal Hill? Hi, my name is Jess Powers and this is my YouTube channel all about living in the Hope State. This is part of my Moving to Rhode Island neighborhood series where I talk about some of Rhode Island's most unique and distinctive neighborhoods and towns. So let's jump right in. The west end of Providence is also known as Federal Hill or the Broadway Armory Historic District or the west side. It really depends on who you talk to and the specific areas you're referencing. Now a lot of people have a lot of strong opinions on the names and what you have to call it. So for the sake of this imperfect video, I'm going to refer to the West End as the areas that make up Federal Hill and the Broadway Armory Historic District. Now this area of Providence is known for great restaurants and bars, coffee shops, vintage shops, diverse neighborhoods, and it's home to a lot of artists and musicians as well as families who have lived in the area for decades. Now there are a few distinct areas. Federal Hill is the area closely surrounding Atwell's Avenue and between Westminster Street. Atwell's Ave is where you'll find many restaurants that are really densely clustered. So some of my favorite Italian delis are on this street like Venda, which has a huge deli and an amazing selection of fresh pastas, or Tony's Colonial, which I think they have the best chicken parm sandwich around. Now the gateway arch that you've noticed over Atwell's Avenue near, near downtown, it's one of the most recognizable landmarks in Providence. For the longest time, I actually thought it was a pineapple, but it turns out it's actually a pine cone. Atwell's Ave is very lively on the summer evenings and it's really fun to stroll up and down the street where you'll find great food and shops, wine, and, and often there's live music in Depauska Square at the fountain. Now Broadway is another beautiful tree-lined street with great restaurants and coffee shops. There's a few vintage shops and professional offices. It's also home of the Columbus Theater, which is a theater house that was built in 1926 that showcased silent film and vaudeville acts. Now it's had an up and down history throughout the years and various economic downturns. When I moved to Providence about 20 years ago, it was actually pretty sketchy and limited to adult films. But currently, it's a live music venue and it hosts local and national acts. I've been to many really great performances, um, even Lucinda Williams who performed there last year. Now hopefully the Columbus will survive the current shutdown as it's a really important part of the community. Now headed off of Westminster Street is the Armory District. It's the historic district that borders Dexter Training Ground Park, which is a nine acre park and home of the iconic Cranston Street Armory. This area features really beautiful, stunning homes and tree-lined streets. Most of the homes in the area were built from 1830 to the 1910s, and the majority of homes in the Federal Hill and Armory District are multifamily properties with some condos and some single family homes. Now some of my favorite restaurants call this area home. Nick's on Broadway and Julian's are favorites for brunch, but I love Nick's for their seasonal dinner menu and Julian's is a favorite for those who love craft beer. Seven Stars Bakery and Nitro Coffee Bar are big hits for coffee lovers, although personally I'm a fan of Nitro's avocado toast and their iced hibiscus tea. Uh, Buck Down, my kid's favorite, features southern fried comfort food. I'm crazy about their fish sandwich and their locally sourced oysters. Sin Bakery on Westminster Street has amazing dessert including vegan options and a really great cocktail menu. Uh, Panaday is my favorite place to grab a quick, a quick empanada. Their Caribbean food is spectacular. And the Avery is just about the most classy yet down-to-earth bar I think I've ever been to. And I love that we have a new grocery store. It's a food co-op called Urban Greens that opened up this past year. And the neighborhood is sprinkled with small corner markets and bodegas. So there's just too many things to mention uh, and I love so much about this neighborhood, which is why I've called the Weston home for the past decade. Now when I first moved to the area, it was known as an up and coming air, uh, neighborhood, but really real estate prices have really skyrocketed over the past five years, pricing a lot of people, including renters, out of the area. Now 20 years ago, my three bedroom apartment off Dexter Park was about 600 bucks a month. That same apartment now, well, that rents upwards of 2,200. It's difficult to find a nice rental under 1,200 anymore. Now you can still find a condo in the low 200s, but if you're looking for a single family property, you're going to have to have a budget for at least 350,000. And if you're hoping to find a multifamily property, you're going to need to be able to be pre-approved for at least 400,000 although those prices continue to go up and a recent sale for a multifamily actually topped out at 600,000. Be prepared for multiple offers in this really competitive market for this cool neighborhood. 
Curious to learn more about the area and see if it could be right for you? Well, reach out. I'm always happy to help.